change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And the Dolphins offense now ready to go back out on the field. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. We'll see if it's that easy here. <laughs> They'll give it to him, line up the gun. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They run for that run. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Dante Hightower in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And he's able to get it out of there. This is a pretty good kick. And he'll take it just outside the 40. Wow, evasive. Make a miss. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead. So just look at the amount of drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game. Helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? The guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Now Brady throwing on second down. And that'll be incomplete. LeGarrette Blunt was the intended target. And that'll make it third down. And there's a good opportunity to just want to lie there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Looking from the gun, it's Brady. And Amendola with a catch. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. First down, Brady. This will be caught inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. 
They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Ready to throw again. Caught by Amendola. Patriot touchdown. Shit. Danny Amendola, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Just kept leaving. The point after try for Goskowski. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. You know, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Play fake to Ajayi, it's Tannehill. This one caught, Jordan Cameron. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. But it was stopped on that play. We said plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. And on second and ten now. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Let's see what they go to here on third down and six. Defense showing blitz. From the gun on third down, Taylor Hill. Complete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and that just continued there with that incompletion. And definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half.
And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field, and they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it, they have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, and they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude. But I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. But he'll try and get on second down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. A really good pickup of 28 yards. completion he's north of 200 yards here in the first half and he's going to break our statistician marvin isn't it because marvin right now is just tallying it up hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator but my goodness what a start he is off to by the end of this game he could have monster numbers he just wants to continue to be accurate 